on today's episode, burning a Wii backup and installing the homebrew channel. Sponsored by YouNoob.net, the Newbie Network. Music on Pixel.info is brought to you by Akin. Okay, first we're going to be burning a Wii backup disc. Here we got a modified Wii with the Wii key installed. This only pertains to modified Wiis that support playing backups. Let's take a look at the burning workflow process. Preparing the Wii backup ISO image. Use Wii Brick Blocker to remove any region updates that may harm your Wii. Remember, never update from outside your Wii's region. Once completed, we're going to be changing the region of the Wii ISO. Open Region Free. The game that we're going to be burning is the new Naruto Shippuden EX3, only released in Japan. And there are three types of regions to choose from. Europe, US, and Japan. So we will select our own current region. In my case, it is the US. Image Burn, Clone CD, and Nero work for Windows, but I prefer to use my Mac built-in disk utility to burn my Wii backups. I burn at 2x to 4x, but never higher than that. You could burn both plus and minus Rs. If you use plus Rs, then they would have to be book typed to ROM. I recommend using Sony for Japanese regional backups. I've had a few problems with other brand discs when burning foreign games. Okay, once finished burning, do a quick test on your Wii to make sure your disc can be played. Next, I'll show you the process of installing the Homebrew channel on the Wii. We're going to be needed a fat formatted SD card. The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess was your console's region. Let's take a look. My current version of the Wii is updated to 3.4U. First we're going to take the Twilight Hack version 01 beta 2 saved game file and place it in the SD card in private Wii and title. Put the SD card in the Wii and turn it on. Then go to Wii Options, Data Management, Save Data, and for the Wii. Find your Zelda save file, click on it, click again, click erase, and confirm. Open the SD card and select the Twilight hack, save, that corresponds with your game region. Click copy, then yes. Exit out of the menu. If you're using System Menu 3.4, you must use the hack right away before it resets, and then you'll have to start all over. Insert the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess game disc and run the game. Depending on what type of game and console region you have, you have a choice on what save file to load. Since I have a 0A2 USA Zelda disc with a USA console, I will use the second save slot. Once in the game, turn and talk to the man standing to the side. Follow directions, follow through with the install. Restart the Wii and you'll have the Wii Homebrew channel. Well, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Post all your feedback and comments at pixel.info and youtube.net. This is Dingo, signing off.